Today you are going to be learning about range and interquartile range. These are not measures of central tendency. The measures of central tendency are mean, median, and mode. Range and interquartile range are measures of spread. Measures of spread. Measures of spread don't say how high or low the data set is. Measures of spread say how spread out it is. If it is very spread out, it will have a high range and high interquartile range. If it is very compact, it will have a small range and interquartile range. Okay, let's get going. First, what is the minimum? So we want the minimum dot, the dot with the lowest value. Not the lowest dot. Here, 140 only has one dot, but that's not the lowest value dot. The lowest value dot is right here. The value of that one is halfway between 100 and 140, so the minimum in this case is 120. And I don't need to put an arrow on it. That was just so you can see it. Okay, well, let's go to another dot plot and see what the minimum is there. Can you find the minimum here? I'll give you a moment. Let's see if you got it right. Did you say the minimum was 11? If you did, good job. See how 11 is the lowest value right there? That has the lowest value. The fact that it has four dots doesn't matter. 11 is smaller than 12, 13, 14, all the other dots. And all we care is the value of the dot, not how many there are. Okay, let's now go back. Similarly, what is the maximum? Now we are looking for the highest value dot. The maximum is not 280. That is not, does not have a dot on it. The highest value dot is this dot right here. And the value of that is halfway between 260 and 280. The highest value there is 270. And again, you don't need to put an arrow towards it. I'm just asking you what the maximum is. So let's go to the other dot plot. See if you can find the maximum here. I'll give you a moment. Did you find it? It is 23. It is this value right there, halfway between 22 and 24. There's the highest value dot. And the halfway between 22 and 24 is 23. So the maximum for this data set is 23. Get rid of that arrow. Okay, range. In order to find range, what you have to do is maximum minus minimum. Maximum minus minimum. So the maximum is 270. The minimum is 120. You do 270 minus 120. 270 minus 120 is 150. So the range for this set is 150. I just want to clean up that zero so it doesn't look like a six. 150. Okay, let's have you try one. Okay, find the range. Remember it's maximum minus minimum. That should be enough time. Did you do 23 minus 11 equals 12? That's the minimum, that's the range, maximum minus minimum, 23 minus 11. Get rid of those extra lines. Okay, so we figured out the ma minimum, maximum, and range. All right, now find the median. We've done this before, let's take a look. First we need to know, is this an odd number of dots or an even number of dots? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24 is an even number of dots. 24. Half of 24 is 12. Oops. Erase. Half of 24 is 12. But because this is an even number of dots, I do not want the 12th dot. I want each half to have 12 dots. So my median will be between 
the 12th and 13th dots. Okay, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. My median should be right there. I want to make sure that I'm right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 on this side and 12 on this side. So my median is correct. The median is the value of that line. That line is over this space right here. That's halfway between 180 and 200. So the median in this case is 190. 190. If you do not understand how to find that median, please write to me so that I can help you. Okay, let's go to the other dot plot. Let's find the median here. Okay, let me count the dots first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 36, an even number of dots again. 36 divided by 2 is 18. 18, so we want it between the 18th and 19th dot. So let me count. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I want it halfway between those two. Let me erase these dots because I don't need them anymore. And that line separates this into two equal pieces. Let me make sure they should both have 18 on each side. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 on this side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 on this side. That is where the median should be. Now I just need to find out what the value of that median is. Okay, well, it's halfway between the dot over here and the dots on the other side. So it's halfway between this dot and these dots. This is 15, this is 18. I need to figure out what halfway between 15 and 18 is. So I will do 15 plus 18 divided by 2. That's 33 divided by 2. That's 16 and a half is the median. 16 and a half is the median, and that's how you find it. Okay, let's go to the other one. So we found the median in both cases. If you have any questions on how to find the median, then just send me a message, and I will be happy to help you. All right, now we're getting into two things you have never heard of before, lower and upper quartiles. Well, what's a quartile? Well, median cuts the set into two equal pieces. Quartiles, look at that first word, quar, this quartiles cut it into four equal pieces. So what we have to do, so right now we have our median, which is right here. On this side, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 pieces. On this side, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 pieces. I want to cut those now in half into two equal pieces. So, to make two equal pieces, half of 12 is 6. 
I want to make six pieces over here and six pieces over here. So I'll count one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven right there. Here is one, two, three, four, five, six. Here is one, two, three, four, five, six. And you'll notice there are six pieces in that quartile. And that was one right here, six here, six there. And we also want six pieces in this quartile, in these two quartiles. Okay, so I'll count one, two, three, four, five, six, and I want to put my line right there. That makes six down here. It makes one, two, three, four, five, six here. One, two, three, four, five, six here. One, two, three, four, five, six here. There are six in each piece. 6 times 4 is 24. There are 24 total. 24 divided by 4 is 6. There are 6 in each quartile. All right. But it doesn't ask for that. It asks for something called the lower quartile and something called the upper quartile. Well, this line right here, that's the median. We have two more lines. We have this one and this one. These two must be the quartiles. Which one is lower is this one. So the lower quartile would be 170. Which one is higher? This one. So the upper quartile must be 200. Lower quartile 170. Upper quartile 200. 170, 200. And that's how you find lower and upper quartile. Don't worry, we're about to do another example. Uh, I don't like when that happens, when I do a draw spare line, so we'll go down here. Okay, we have the median. This one separates it into this group and this group, and these two groups should have the same number of dots. Let's count them and see if they do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 on that side, 18 on that side. Let's count these over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 on that side. So we have an equal number of pieces. We have 18 in half and 18 in half. We want to cut those into four equal pieces. What's half of 18 is nine. We want nine in each quartile. So let's find nine in each quartile. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it should be right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine there. Nine here, nine here. Good so far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine should be right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine over here. Nine here, nine here. Those work as quartiles. Here's the lower one. It's right there. The lower quartile must be 13. The upper quartile is right here. It's halfway between 20 and 21. So let's record those. Lower quartile, 13. Upper quartile, 20 and 21. But we need to find what halfway between those is. I know what it is, but I'll still do the arithmetic. 20 plus 21 divided by 2. That's 41 divided by 2 is 20 and 1 half. And the upper quartile should be 20 and 1 half. Again, if you need help finding quartiles, just let me know. I'll see what I can do to help you. The interquartile range. Well, just like the range was the maximum minus the minimum, the interquartile range will be the upper quartile minus the lower quartile. 
So in this case, we just do 200 minus 170. The interquartile range will be 30. Let's see the interquartile range here. It's the upper quartile, 20 and 1 half, minus the lower quartile, 13, and we get 8 and 1 half is the interquartile range. And that's how you do it. There's just one more thing that I have to show you. Let's say I have a dot plot and it looks like this, and I have a dot here and a dot here and a dot here, and a dot here and a dot here and a dot here, and a dot here and a dot here and a dot here. Let's count those dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine divided by two is four and a half. Round that up to five. Remember, this is an odd number, so we round up and find the middle dot. One, two, three, four, five. That dot right there is the median. Now, for the upper quartile and lower quartile, you'd think there are four here, but there are actually five here because you include the median dot. One, two, three, four, five. And you include the median dot in the lower half also. One, two, three, four, five. To find the lower quartile, what we have to do is cut the lower five into two pieces. Five divided by two is two and a half. Round it up to three. We need the third dot. One, two, three. There's the lower quartile. One, one, two, three. There's the upper quartile. So when you have an odd number of dots, you include the median in both the upper half and the lower half. I hope that's enough help for you. Please write to me if you need any help. Try the worksheet.